Hey everybody, it's your favorite travel agent, Christian here, and I just got back from my first trip of the summer. I went to Isla de Mujeres, Cancun, Mexico with um, some of my family, and I'm just going to share with you some of the things that I've learned, which has helped me become a better travel agent, and some of the things that we greatly enjoyed. So we're going to start with day one. We left on June 14th. Good morning, y'all. So this is my first time ever flying with Frontier. It's about six o'clock in the morning. Actually, it's even earlier than that. What am I talking about? It's only like five o'clock in the morning, and I am feeling very stressed about all the videos I've been seeing about you know, the personal item versus the camera and the nuclear personal item that's good and they're so charging. So I am very stressed. We have a family. There's a lot of us, and I will report back. I mean. This was a stress alone. I don't think I would fly Frontier again, even if everything goes smoothly. But just like the idea of the stress is like, I don't know. So. so we were able to get through the gate agent just fine with our personal items and then one check bag, which I understand was very stressful for us. So I'm not sure if we will use, have that many people go through Frontier again as a family. But the one thing that I really can't stress enough is how uncomfortable the chairs are it's like sitting on a park bench for four hours so i wouldn't travel with frontier for anything longer than four hours though for me personally all right so once we got out of the airport we caught our driver who was going to drive us to the fair to get to Elon Harris. Now, it's super important that you book this ahead of time, which is where someone like me comes in handy, who would handle that for you, logistics, find the person, and making sure they communicate with you. Now, it's about 25-30 minute ride from Cancun Airport to the ferry, and then once you there, you're there, you, know, you buy your tickets. Now, remember, this is super important, is that the child tickets are by height, they're not by age. That's actually, it, it, it does matter because you'll have to go back and repurchase things. So if you're already in line, there's mad people behind you and you're trying to catch the 730 and there's already people behind you and you have to go back, you may not make it onto the 730 if the line out of the ticket booth is too long. You may end up being bumped to the 8 o'clock one. So it's, that's super important to remember. The, the ride itself is also about... I thought it was all 15, 20 minutes. You know, there's below deck, there's the middle deck, and then there's the upper where the sun is. I don't recommend being up where the sun is because those seats are hot. And then, yes, I like riding in the middle. It's, you know, you get the breeze and everything. The kids really loved it. They had a lot of fun on the, on the ferry. And once we got off, we were literally about a two block walk once we got off the ferry to our resort, to our, not resort, it's our little cute boutique hotel, which I'll show you in a minute. 